Okay. Okay. What is this? To the flower bed? The flowers in the flower bed are blooming magnificently. They must be well tended. Oh, that's it? Uh, check the incinerator. There is nobody here. No Yumino, not even the cat. Okay. The door to the admin office is locked. Professor's office. Knock the door. I knock on the door of Professor Mikozuka's office. What? It's Ma. No, 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 no. Michael is not here, right? Because she, she's dead. Yes, please come in. Did I hear a woman's voice coming from inside? I entered the Professor's office. What? Please, come in. What? What? What's going on? What's going on? Was that... Was that a dream or... about yesterday. Miss Michael, uh, yesterday, I... And why Asumi is not surprised? She should be surprised. Very strange. This game is strange. I don't know, maybe there is a reason for that. I find myself choking on my words. This is a woman who tried to stop me after all. Yesterday, last night, did anything happen to you? Last night? After the incident with Mr. Sheena, I had a lot of paperwork to fill in. I ended up working here until pretty late at night. Why do you ask? Impossible. Was what happened yesterday not real? Was it just a dream? No, that's not possible. But how? How is she here? Hmm. What's the matter? You look awfully upset. Did, did I say something? When Michael tried to kill me yesterday, she was shot from behind by someone. That's right. I remember that she dropped the knife and collapsed beside me. Really? What's wrong? You're st staring at me. There is no blood stain on the floor, but as the office is carpeted. I guess it could have been changed. Try to trick her. Say nothing. Okay. Let's try this. Miss Michael, I heard a very loud sound coming from here last night. Did you hear it? A loud sound? What kind of sound? Is she playing? I don't know anything about that. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. Was this some sort of illusion that I experienced yesterday? I want to believe that. But even though I was a little dis discombobulated, it felt too real to be my imagination. Also, if that was my imagination, then I am more psychologically compromised than I thought. Wait. I have the resume. I had to have found that in the professor's office. It was just after I found the resume that Michael appeared. Remembering what happened, I feel myself shake with fear. I know what happened. It was real, and Michael was shot after that from behind. Her body, 
after it collapsed on me felt devoid of all life. But can I trust my own feelings, my own memories? If that was real, then how is Michael able to act like nothing happened? She isn't hot, but she wearing a <laughs> bulletproof vest. <laughs> no, the blood was real. I don't see why she would have pretend pretended to be shot. It must have been real. If that's the case, then why isn't she trying to kill me right now? Because it's the middle of the day, and there's possibilities that students and st staff might see. If we were somewhere isolated and no one else were there, suddenly my fear returns. I have to get out of here. What's wrong? You look pale. Come closer. Let me see. Come closer. Let me see you. Uh, huh? Hmm. That was a bit creepy. Okay. Ask about Sheena. Mr. Sheena's body was taken away by a distant relative yesterday. We still don't know why he committed suicide. Wait and see what happened. Michael Mikozka attacked me on the night of December 20th, after which she was shot from behind. Yet, she looks no different to normal. Was it all some sort of dream? I had a lot of work to do last night after what happened with Mr. Sheena, but it's my job. Are you feeling okay, physically? Yes, I'm fine. I'm in shock, of course, but I have no health issues. Hmm. Uh, let's check this one. Hey, Miss Kaori. Have you been in Assistant Professor Haibara's room? No, he won't come back until the day after tomorrow. Kaori quickly scurries away. What? <laughs> she scurried away, but for some reason she's still here. already gone and there are flowers on his desk. The police have gone too. It seems they are satisfied that he committed suicide. Mr. Sheena. Kakizaki. That's right, Mr. Kakizaki. The person who jumped in front of the train. It might have been. And Ichinose. Ask about the fifth report, okay, first, this one. I don't, I don't want to talk about Mr. Sheena. The administrative staff have instructed all students not to discuss the unsavory incidents. This lab is not like others, we have to obey their orders. One of my fellow students has committed suicide and another is missing. I feel terrible. But, come what may, it is our mission to continue with our research. Let's ask about this. The fifth report? Hmm. I may I have heard of it, but I can't remember now. Hmm, okay. Do we have something? No. Hmm? Oh! Resume. I show the resume to Ichinose. Excuse me, but Mr. Ichinose, would you look at this? Ichinose stares intently at the resume, deep in thought. His eyes look filled with surprise and curiosity rather than suspicion. If you didn't make this up and this was really in the professor's desk, 
then this is truly fascinating. I heard there was a student in my year who left before I arrived. Since the resumes were arranged in chronological order, and that resume was right next to mine, it must belong to that student. I don't know why that student's name has been changed to yours, but maybe the student was the one who was written the fifth report. Fifth report? Do you know something about the fifth report? Yes, seeing that resume reminds me of a story. Okay. Uh, okay, let's ask about this again then. Certainly, there seems to be a connection between the student in this resume and, uh, and the fifth report. I wasn't told directly, but I heard the prof professor and the chief administrator talking. They looked serious. Ichinose stops talking. It seems he doesn't want to talk right now in this place. Keep your voice down. I'll tell you what I know. Glancing around nervously, he begins to talk. I overheard this as I was walking by the admin office one day. There is a thesis written by a student who was here before I came, and it's kept in the basement. Is that? The fifth report? I don't know, but I'm sure I had the world's fifth report in their conversation. How can I get to the basement? You know, there is a steel door on the first floor. I've heard it leads to the basement. But only Professor Mikozuka and Assistant Professor Haibara have ID cards that can open the door. If I can get an ID card, would you come to the basement with me? Okay, you have my word. If I can get an ID card, Mr. Ichinose will come to the basement with me. The fifth report is there. Hmm. Professor Mikozuka and Assistant Professor Haibara have ID cards that can access the basement. I need to talk to someone who knows a lot about the lab. Okay, let's... Funabashi. Uh, okay, ask about the fifth report. Mr. Funabashi, I would like to ask you about the fifth report. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about that. Funabashi pauses for a moment before returning to his usual uncommunicative self. When he has a word fifth report, I thought I saw a slight change in his expression. Mm. So he's, uh, he's suspicious because giving him the CDR was wrong choice, it seems, so that means he's also involved in this case somehow. Ask about Shina. The hologram he made just before he died was a magnific magnificent piece of work. I walked past his desk several times, but I've never suspected that was a hologram. Mm. That's a really, <laughs> that's a really high tech. Show an item. Mm. Should we do this? I don't know. Mr. Funabashi, would you take a look at this? This is abominable. What? What did you say? Did he say abominable? What did he mean? Funabashi says nothing further. Kaori? Kaori isn't here today. She must be busy working on something. Mm. Is Yumino here? He's not here. I haven't seen him since the last uh, since the night of the twenties. Where did he go? 
I hope he, he will not die. Okay, let's go. Library. I search the books here, but find nothing of interest. Computer room. Uh, such database. I might be able to get some information from this database. Enter keywords. Because Galab fifth report. Fifth report. Fifth report. No results found matching the keywords entered. Okay, because Galab. Following matches found. This looks like the web page of Mikoska Lab. Mikoska Lab is attached to the Graduate School of Taito Institute of Technology. There's no new information here. Uh, okay, to the staff room. For some reason, it doesn't say, like, a, it doesn't mention Kanematsu's name anymore. Is there is there some reason? Oh, Tanabu is also here. Okay. Ask about the fifth report. Mr. Kanematsu, have you heard of the fifth report? I have. I know what it is. But it does not concern you. You, you should forget about it. I wish it didn't exist, then nobody would have died. Please tell me what you know. I have to know. Please. I know I'm in danger. Somebody is after me. I know that, but I have no intention of running away. Today, I got a call from my sister. It was only a message she left on the answering machine. But it was definitely my sister's vo voice. I've been feeling uneasy since I got here. I even doubted my sister's very existence. But now I know. The message I got today has clarified everything. My sister is in trouble. She needs my help. You. You will suffer. <laughs> Mr. Sumi. You will suffer. <laughs> Mr. Kanematsu, you know something? Please, you have to tell me. Even if you know what those words mean, you won't be able to do anything. The fifth report is a thesis written by a student who was here at this lab four years ago. The student was a genius, perhaps the greatest researcher we had here performing the greatest research. That's right. In a perverse way, perhaps that might become your very lifeline. Where is, where is the scissors now? The basement. She wrote her scissors down in the basement for a long time. What was the scissors about? That, I don't know. Even I don't know that. But whatever it was, it cost her life. Is the fifth report still in the basement? I heard from Mr. Ichinose that a professor's ID card is needed to access the basement. Do you know where a professor's ID card might be? Only Professor Mikozuka and Assistant Professor Haibara have them. By the way, we haven't met this Haibara. Hmm. But it, it's impossible. You will be killed. Don't do it, Mr. Sumi. You'll end up like Mr. Shina. Don't, don't do it, Mr. Sumi. Kanematsu begins to cry. 
his sobs echo through the corridor. He might know where the professor's ID cards are, but he is in no state to tell me now. I give up and turn to leave. Wait! Professor Mikotsuka's ID card must be in his house. A senile old woman is the only one there right now. But she's devoted to the professor and will do anything to protect the lab from outsiders. The ID card is important, so I think she will be keeping it close to her. You can't just come out and ask her to give you the card, okay? Tell her you wish to write your thesis. If you say that, I think the old woman might give you the card. It's rather mysterious. I know he's still holding something from me. Good luck, Miss Asumi. Found out where the professor's ID card is. Nobody's here. Okay, uh, let's talk to Tanabu too. Sorry, but I'm a busy man. Leave me alone. Tanabu uh, preempts me by talking before I can say anything. D2 Kakizaki is missing, and D3 Shina has committed suicide. But no one is held accountable. No one. It doesn't make sense. Two students are gone, and the police investigation was nothing more than a joke. I was asked to do this job in return for my debt being paid off. I knew something was wrong when I first came here. This is no ordinary lab. Ah, uh, okay, so maybe Tanabu is not involved in this case. Okay, so then we need to go to Professor's house, I think. Where do you wish to go next? Uh, outside. I know where I must go. One more time. Uh, rest. Huh? Hmm. If that house is Professor Mikozka's, then it's likely his ID card is kept there. Again. I go to the house whose address is written on the resume. Right, so... Professor's house address is written on Asumi's resume, so that means Asumi is her daughter, or his daughter or something? Uh, press the door. Miss Asumi. Do you need something? I know everything, Miss Asumi. If you need anything, ask me. Now is the time to make a decision. I need the professor's ID card. I want to write my thesis. Yeah. Well, I'd like to keep writing my thesis. To do that, I need access to the underground lab. old woman's expression softens. You are Miss Asumi. Miss Asumi, you wish to continue writing your thesis? I'm so glad. Please wait a moment. I'll bring the card right away. This was the ID card that my master used. My master said he would never come back here. Please keep it, Miss Asumi. Got Professor's ID card. Miss Asumi, I am so looking forward to the day you finish your thesis. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the lab. I still have more things to ask at the lab. But where is the entrance to the basement? 
or maybe from outside Rekka. From up here. No, nothing. Incinerator. Ah, okay, so we have to uh, go to see Ichinose, I think. Ichinose. Ichinose. Mr. Ichinose, I got the ID card for the basement from Professor Mikozuka's house. Let's go somewhere else. Wait for me on the west side of Zara, beyond the flower garden. I will be there at night. Saying only that Ichinose leaves. Okay, then go outside. Flower bed. Go further west. This is the place I agreed to meet with Ichinose. Wait for... just keep searching. Okay. Uh... Huh? Keep searching? Ah, no, no, no. Okay, wait. Uh, wait for Ichinose. I feel somebody is watching me. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. A little after 7 p.m., just as the darkness becomes total, Ichinose arrives. Last night, I waited for night to fall like this with Yumino. Then Yumino called Michael on the phone and I snuck into the professor's office. That was where I found my resume. The more I hear of your story, the more confused I get. I don't understand at all. Neither do I. Did you ask Michael about the resume? Michael. She came back to the room right after I found the resume. And? She had a knife. She tried to stop me. No way! It's true. It's hard to believe, but I know it's true. I can't believe that. But what happened after that? Did Michael stab you? No. When she was about to stab me, she was shot from behind. That? I can only assume that you are insane. You have to be lying. I can't believe a word of it. I'm sure that everything is just as it always was. You may be right. I may be insane. But I'm also 100% serious about what I'm saying. I don't ask you to believe me. But I do want you to admit that I am not telling lies. And, if you will, I'd like you to help me. I know you believe what you are saying. The resume, at least, isn't a lie. I did hear a few rumors about the person who was in my ear before I came here. And I have always been curious about what is kept in the basement. All students are explicitly forbidden from going down there. Anyone caught trying to go down there will be expelled. Of course, the door is always locked. Back to what you were saying earlier. You say Michael tried to kill you, then she got shot from behind, right? Then who shot her? And more to the point, how is she here working today as if nothing at all happened? I think the one who shot her might be Yumino. Yumino didn't show up today, but I don't think he has a gun. I don't know anything for sure. I wish this were all some dream. After that, I lost consciousness, and when I woke up, I was on the bed in my sister's apartment. Somebody carried me there. I see. That's why you think it might have been Yumino. We stop talking and quietly wait for the dead of night. I feel like everything will become clear 
if we can find the fifth report in the basement. With this ID card, we can access the underground lab. Head to the basement after midnight.